Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and I have a pull workout for you. Today we are hitting our upper body pull muscles, which are your back and your biceps. You guys loved our push workout, which was chest, shoulders, tries, and so now we're bringing you the back and bi version. It looks like this. You have three circuits. First circuit is back, second circuit is biceps, third circuit is a combination of back and bi. We're gonna do two strength exercises three times back to back, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And then we go into a cardio Tabata to raise your heart rate. 20 seconds per move, three times through. Okay, you got two cardio moves, two strength moves. You guys ready to knock this out? All you need are some dumbbells. I have 20s and 15 pounds with me. We're gonna go heavy in strength training today. Let's get ourselves started with a good body weight warm up. So go ahead, feet are underneath my hips. Let's just flap our arms right here. Open up the chest, the shoulders. Open up that back side of the body too. Nice, right here, just flat both those wings. Awesome job, you got four. Three, two, and one. Give me a big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, baby back bend. Pull those elbows down towards your hips. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Reach up nice and tall. Take a forward fold, hands go to the toes. If you're capable, you're gonna sit down into a squat. Knees open up, elbows are by the knees. And right here, I'm gonna plant my right hand on the ground. Left arm goes overhead. Nice little thoracic spine twist. Nice, set it down, switch it out. Other side, gotta work on that mobility for the back side of our body. Back to center, can you take those arms overhead and then stand up? Woo, hello back and core, let's do it again. Forward fold, fingertips to the toes. Drop the hips, open it up, right hand down. Left hand overhead, nice little twist, spinal rotation. Same thing, other side, twist, keep that core nice and tight. Back to center, both arms go overhead, stand up, nice, one more time. Forward fold, drop it down, right arm down, left arm up. Nice, switch it out, other side. Feel a nice little low back rotation there. Back to center, feel that core turn on, stand up nice and tall. Awesome job, from here let's just jack it out. Taps, taps, option A, option B, jack it. Jacket. We're gonna raise that heart rate today too, okay? So we're just gonna get that warm up in, raise the heart rate, get ready to strength train back. And biceps, you have eight, seven, six, nice work. Go five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna hold it wide. We're gonna do windmill tap down. So tap side, center, side, center. Opposite hand reaches for opposite toe. Nice, notice we're doing a lot of spinal rotation today. Get that back nice and warm for your workout. Awesome job. Right here, twist, opposite arm reaches. Gaze follows fingertips. Keep that core tight. One more each way, side, center, side, center. From here, you're actually gonna come right down to the mat. You're gonna come to the right knee. Left leg is gonna stay out, okay? Right here, left hand reaches up, threads under. Nice, reach up, thread under. Warming up that posterior chain and that spine, so important for these back exercises we're gonna do today. Getting those legs nice and warm too for those cardio exercises, one more. Nice work, from here you're gonna step back to a high plank, find high plank. You're gonna take a nice wide base with your feet and you're gonna give me row and a row. Think about pulling elbow to the hip, elbow to the hip, nice. Pull, keep those hips square to the ground. Right here, you're pulling that shoulder blade, squeeze it, pull down and back, down and back, down and back. Nice, go for four, awesome. Three, you got it. Two and one, nice work. Take the left knee to the mat, right leg out to the side. Right hand, big spinal rotation, thread the needle underneath. Nice, big reach open, thread the needle, palm touches the mat. Awesome job. Open it up and twist through. You feel a nice little hip opener right here too, that's why I love this one. You're gonna give me one more right here, open, thread that needle. Awesome job, bring it back to center. Find that high plank again. Mountain climb, slower, faster, you're gonna drive that knee. In and in, option stay here, option speed it up, add some energy, eight, seven, six, hold plank in five, four, three, two, one. I'm laughing because I'm eating my hair right now. Hold that plank, jack it out, so tap, tap, side to side, option tap it, option jack it. Jack it, keep that core tight, there you go. Jack it out for eight, seven, Six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it up, all the way up. Let's just run out those knees. Get them up, get them up. High knee, option here, option run it. Eight, seven, this is it. Six, finish your warm up right here. Three, two, one. Hopefully you're nice and warm. We'll continue to warm up as we jump into 
circuit number one, all about the back. Two strength exercises. You have a single arm back row, go heavy, one dumbbell right here. I'm gonna go for my 20 pound, probably 30 if I was at home. And then down to the ground, lying flat on your back, overhead pull. I'll show you in between. Pick up the dumbbell you wanna use for that single arm row. Dumbbell in the right hand. 40 seconds of work, two exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. You're gonna do it three times through. Are you ready? I'm gonna set up a staggered stance. Left foot slightly forward, right foot back. Dumbbell, right hand, hinged over, belly pulled nice and tight. Pull that elbow back to the hip in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Row and down. It's slow and controlled, right? Single arm row. I have my other hand on my belly because I like to feel my belly engaged. Really easy to let that belly fall when you're in that hinged over position. Keep it nice and tight. If you need more balance, you can always find a chair or countertop to rest this opposing hand on. I'm just pulling the elbow back right till it meets my rib cage. Slow and control, lower down. Pull back, slow and control. One of the biggest mistakes is we see a little bit of opening here as you pull. Keep that shoulder square to the ground, okay? If you feel this, you can always loosen your grip a little bit. Really focus on the back, pinching that shoulder blade together. Of course, the bicep's working too. You've got three, two, and one, recover. I'm gonna go down to my two 15 pounds. We're gonna go lying on your backside. It's an overhead pull. So I'm lying down, legs are bent at 90 degrees. I'm gonna put my two 15 pounds together. I'm gonna lower them to the ground, tap behind me, and bring it up right here. Keeping that back connected to the ground, okay? Big exhale. Inhale, belly expands, exhale, pull that belly in. Three, two, let's go. Lower the weights down. Now pull straight overhead. You can always do this with one dumbbell, okay? If you have a stability ball or a bench, you can grab that so you get a little bit more stretch at the bottom. Nice. We're working our lats right here. So we're just working the middle of the back on the dumbbell row, and now we're working the lats. Big overhead pull. Hard to work the lats with dumbbells. This is one of the only exercises that does it. You guys know I love pull-ups. Another really great way to strengthen those lats or lat pull-downs, right? But with dumbbells, it's hard to work them. So that's why we love this exercise. You got it. Big exhale, pulls those weights. Overhead, you're in the final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, back up to standing, we're gonna repeat it. Single arm row, other side. I'm gonna go back to that 20 pounder, dumbbell left hand, right foot forward, left foot slightly back. Single arm row, hinged over, belly is tight, pulling that elbow right back to my hip, okay? Roll that shoulder down and back. Think about pulling your armpit down. Three, two, let's go, let's go. Up and down, it's slow and controlled. Lift and lower with control again. This is where you go heavy, you guys. If I had my 30 pound dumbbell with me, I'd be doing it. I only bring so many dumbbells to the studio at a time. Pull up, slow and control down. Nice. Keeping that belly nice and tight. Nice. Slow and control, lower down. Exhale up, inhale, slow and control. Nice. Nice neutral neck, gaze is slightly in front of you. Single arm row. Try and go heavy, you guys, right here. Work in the back, the largest muscle group in your upper body. Five more seconds, yes you can. Finish it, you got three, two, and one. Back down to the ground, lying overhead pulls. I'm gonna go for those 15 pounds again, okay, on my backside. Again, you can do this with one dumbbell. You can hold it the long way, okay? One hand on each head of the dumbbell. Whatever you got today. Inhale, belly expands, exhale, belly comes tight to the mat. Three, two, let's go. Lower, pull it straight up overhead. Lower, get that nice stretch through the lats, pull it up. As you pull those dumbbells overhead, think about pulling your armpits to your hips, squeezing down. Pull the armpits down to the hips. Nice. Activate that core. Nice. Think about that string between your hip bones. Keep it tight the whole time. That's hard. It's really easy to let your back pop off the mat as those arms reach overhead. Keep that back connected. Put that blueberry on your belly button and squeeze it. Nice work, you guys. Right here, final five. Four, three, two. I'm gonna get one more in because I can. There it is, nice work. Up for set three. Set three, we are gonna go two dumbbells, okay? It looks like this. Row right, row left, double row. Single, single, double, okay? I'm gonna go 20s again, hinged over. You're on in three, two, here we go, here we go. Row right, row left, double row, both row. Nice narrow row, elbows graze the rib cage. Come on, last set. Third set on the rows, it's right here. You got it, you got it. Keep that core tight, protect that low back. Shoulders are down. Pulling that armpit down towards my hip as I pull the elbows towards the hip. 
You got it. Nice, finish off these rows. One rep at a time. Come on, come on, stay in it. Yes, 10 more seconds, you got this. Let's go, strong backs are built right here. Come on, five, four, three, two. One more single arm on each side and you're done. Set them down. Here we go. Last time on the lying overhead pulls. Down on the mat, right here. Get that ponytail just right where you need it. And you're gonna go overhead pulls, okay? Dumbbells overhead. Connect that back. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, pull it to the mat. Three, two, let's go. Overhead pull. Exhale, pulls those dumbbells straight back overhead. Nice. Core is engaged. I'll do a lot of these moves. Nice. We're going to go cardio Tabata next, you guys. We're going to raise that heart rate in between strength training circuits. Love a good strength workout. Strength training is the name of the game. All seasons of life. Builds muscle, changes the shape of your body. Nice. Burns fat, raises your heart rate too. We like that. Total body health. That's what we're going for right here. Come on, you got this. Strong bodies. Right here, final five. Four, three, two. You're gonna give me one more because you can. Nice, you're up. Awesome job. Dumbbells are off to the side, I think. Cardio Tabata. Oh no, your dumbbells are not totally out of the way. Take my 15 pounds. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go 20. We're gonna challenge ourselves today. I'm gonna set them apart. Set them apart about this far, okay? I'm gonna show you your two cardio moves. Looks like this, lateral hop. Give me a burpee, row. Nice, hop, hop it grab the other dumbbell row, okay? Your option would be to hop, grab the dumbbell, and give me a standing row. You don't have to give me the plank burpee if that doesn't work for you, okay? Number two, dumbbells stay right here. I'm just shuffling over the dumbbells, okay? You can always do that behind the dumbbells if that's more comfortable for you. Cardio Tabata, let's raise that heart rate. Lateral hop to my right, single arm row. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest in three, two. Let's go, let's go, lateral hop, burpee, row. Nice, hop, hop it, burpee, row it. You got it, side to side. Still hitting that back, but adding some heart rate rising movements, that lateral hop and that half burpee. Woo, nice work, you guys. Looks so good, right here. Three, two, you're up. Move those dumbbells back a little bit so I can laterally shuffle over them. Lateral shuffle, up and over those dumbbells. To your right, in three, two, let's go, let's go. Hop. Up. Again, if you don't want to step on your dumbbell and you're worried about spraining an ankle, just go behind them, okay? Same thing, same thing. Shuffle up and over. 10 seconds, goal is to raise that heart rate. Woo, yes, I feel it. It's getting there, five, four, three, two, you're out. 10 second rest, lateral hops. You go to our left this time. Three times through these, you guys. To your left in three, two, let's go, let's go, lateral hop. Burpee, row. Nice, hop, pop it, and row it. Your pace, your tempo, the timed interval, your best 20 seconds. That's what we're looking for. Strength and cardio, woo! Right here, you got it, one rep at a time. Final three, two, and one, woo! Nice, lateral shuffles to our left. Feel it, heart rate, it's getting there. Three, two, Let's go, let's go, come on, come on. You guys, I have the best job in the world. You know what my job is? Motivate you. You showed up, my job is to get you through, okay? You showed up, you're not gonna quit. Not today, we're gonna get through it together, you guys. Together, together, come on. Three, two, one. I get to prove to you that you're stronger than you think you are. That's pretty fun. Okay, to your right, lateral hop, row, three. Two, last time, last time, come on. Last time, third time is a charm. Last time through this cardio movement, you can do anything for 20 seconds. Yes, you can. So strong, that's what you are. Woo, you got it, five, four, three. We're gonna do one more, two, and one. Love getting that last rep in. All right, last time, lateral shuffles to your right. Let's do it, three, two, here we go, here we go. Finish strong, finish strong. Come on, last time, last time through. Woo, get a water break. Water break comes, 10 more seconds. You got it, you got it. Woo, moving like an athlete, cause you are. 
three, two, one. Grab some water, grab some water. I've had so many of you say, man, it's so fun to feel like an athlete again. As women, a lot of times we're forced to kind of shut that side off once we have kids. No, you're still an athlete, you guys. Come on, feels good to train like one. Back to strength, biceps. Two bicep moves. Ooh, I'm debating how heavy I want to go. I'm going to go 15s. I'm going to go 15s. Single, single, double. Curl right, curl left, double curl. Because we have three sets. That's a lot. Single, single, double. Shoulders down and back. Feet are shoulder width distance apart. Palms face me. Three, two, let's curl. Curl right, curl left, double curl. Double curl, there it is, nice. It's one, it's one, it's both. Nice work. One curl at a time, one curl at a time. Shoulders are out of the ears, nice long neck. Maybe you get those elbows off that body, slightly in front of your body. Really hit those biceps. That's what we're going for. Bicep isolation, right here. Nice, keep that core tight. I like to spread that floor apart underneath me. Activates the glutes, the quads, and keeps that core tight. While those biceps do the work, come on. You got it, five seconds. Stay in it. Three, two, we gotta even it out. One more each side, and one. You're out, nice work. All right, you're gonna go four hammer curls. So palms face in, you're gonna give me four of those. After you get through four, you're gonna hold halfway. Tiny pulses for four. Three, two, nice, okay? Hammer curls. It's a curl with an isolation and it's gonna burn. You ready, you're there in three, two. Let's go, let's go, a curl for four. Nice, again, three, you don't have to stick with me. You slow it down, two, and one. Hold, halfway pulse, four. Three, two, one, back to full range curls. Curl four, nice work. When I'm doing these workouts at home, if I grab heavier weights, a lot of times I'm moving slower than I am right now, okay? You move at your pace, these are timed intervals. Four curls, four pulses. Your pace, your tempo. The goal is strength. You choose the weights that you got. You can go slower, always, whoo! Make sure you give me those exhales, come on. Yes, you can, pulse up, four, three, two. Oh, you're almost there, you got one more curl on you and you're out, nice, whoo! Okay, we're gonna repeat it, same thing. Set the dumbbells down, shake out the hands. Single, single, double, supine curl, so your palms face out. That's where we start, supine curl and then we go hammer curl. I'm not gonna pick them up yet, you got five seconds, shake out those hands. That grip gets tired, right? Palms out, shoulders down and back, three, Two, let's go. Curl right, curl left, give me the double curl. Double curl, there it is, nice. Single, single, double. Okay, so you're not double curling the whole time, which means maybe you can challenge yourself to go a little heavier, right? I thought about those 20s. I don't know if I would have made it through all three sets though and given you guys good form. Woo. But some days you got it in, yeah, and some days you go big. Other days, you do your best, you forget the rest. Like I said, you showed up. My job is to get you through it, right? Give you some fun cues along the way. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Stay in it. You got it, final four. Three, two, and one. 20 second rest. I'm gonna set them down, shake out those forearms. Give me a nice little wrist roll. You can do this, do this. Nice little stretch out for those forearms, okay? Enjoy that 20 seconds, roll it out. Hammer curls, you got four of them. Palms face in. Four curls, four hold halfway and pulse it. Make sure you're getting that halfway point. Don't get lazy on me. Here we go. Three, two, let's curl. Curl for four, three, nice. Two, give me one more curl, now hold it halfway. Hold halfway, pulse, pulse for four, three, two, one. Back to all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. Whoo, those biceps, they are getting mighty fiery, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it takes a lot to get my biceps sore, but I think this might do it. I think this might do it for me tomorrow. Woo, you got four, come on, curl it up. 10 seconds, yes you can. Yes you can, don't quit, not now, not yet. Hold it halfway, pulse it out, finish it right here. Four, three, two, dumbbells down. Oh my goodness, Woo. one more set you guys. One more set, one more time through. Third set is the best set. Third set is the best. Single, single, double, final time, okay? If you're like, whoo, I don't know if I can do this, that means you chose the right weight. You are doing it. You gotta change it, you gotta challenge yourself. Three, two, let's go, let's go. Let's say if you've been using those same dumbbells for a year, it's time to go up, my friend. It's time to go up, okay? You got it, you got it. 
strength training. I love it. Whew. So good for our mind, our body, good for bone density, right? Good stress reliever. Nice. So many benefits to lifting weights, building strength, keeping those muscles strong. Get all guy all ranges of you guys doing this workout. And I love it. 10 seconds here. Whether you're a mom, a grandma, a single lady, so many reasons to strength train. Five seconds, you got this. Come on, let's curl. Final four. Three, two, give me one more double. Up, oh, there it is. Dumbbells down. Last time. Whew, shake it out. Okay, ready for those hammers? Four hammers, four pulses. Come on, you got this. If you need to take a break, it's quick three seconds and you hop right back in. Right here, and then we go cardio. We're gonna shake it out. Shoulders down and back, hammer curls, palms in. Three, two, let's go. Four, come on, last 40 seconds. Yes, you can. Three, two, last one. Hold it halfway, hold halfway. Pulse four, three, keep that core active. Yes, core is active, you guys. I've had comments, people are like, how did you get your, your abs back after baby? And I'm like, I don't do a lot of ab work, you guys, honestly. This is strength training, keeping that core engaged during strength. Now, it's also been 16 months. It takes time, it takes time. Be patient with yourself. Yes. You got it, you just keep showing up and chipping away. That's what we're doing, showing up and chipping away. Right here, you got four, three, two, one. Dumbbells down. Woo, that felt good, right? Okay, are you ready? You ready for the cardio? First move is jab, hook, up, knee. One, two, three, four. When you speed it up, it's one, two, three, four. That hook is where I'm flexing the bicep. Then you go down to the ground. Option A, plank jacks. Option, tap it. Option B, just, we'll do just your right arm. Just your right arm taps, okay? You ready? 20 on, 20 on, 10 off. We're gonna start right here. Right arm, jab, left arm hook. Right arm jab, left arm hook. I'll go slow on the first one, then I'll speed it up. You're on in three, two, let's go, let's go. Jab, hook, up. Knee fast, jab, hook, up, knee, jab, hook, up, knee. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Lay on those punches. Come on. 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four. You got it. Right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Down to the ground. Just that right arm. If you want, is gonna tap. I'll start with just plank jacks. Plank jacks. You're there. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Option A, you tap. You tap, option B, you jack, you jack. Option C, add that right arm. Tap and jack, woo, tap and jack. Hello core, hello core. I even feel that bicep as I tap the shoulder. It's tired, yes it is, you got this. All right here, three, two, one. Hello core, all right, same thing, other side. Left arm, jab, right arm, hook, okay? Slow on the first one, then I'll speed it up in three, two, here we go, it's jab. Hook, up, here we go, tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Jab, hook, up, knee, jab, hook, up, knee, you got it. Right here, come on, give me something. Woo. Make it count, yeah, it's big, it's powerful. Bigger the arms, higher the heart rate. Last one, out. Woo. Okay, down to the ground. Plank jacket, plank tap it. Option, left hand hits the shoulder every time. Three, two, let's go, let's go. Up, 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 option, tap, tap, tap. Your pace, your tempo, 20 seconds. Yes, you can, Woo. let's go, let's go. You got it, come on, stay in it. Right here, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, set three. We're gonna face center, core is tight, we're just gonna jab it, jab it, jab it. Jab it out, set three, right here. Jab it, three, two, let's go, let's go. Jab it, jab it, come on, boom, boom. Put something behind those punches. Throw off each punch from the back side of your body. Back, back, it's active, so is the core, you got it. Core and back right here. Woo, you got five, four, three, two, one. Way to knock it out. This time, plank jacks. Option, every hand tap, tap, opposite the hands. Okay, last set, let's go. Three, two, let's go, let's go. Jack and tap, jack and tap. Whew. Option, tap, 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 tap. Option, jack, jack. Come on, right here. Yes, you can. 10 more seconds. Finish it. Water, water, it comes for you in five, four, three, 
two, one, yes. Woo, you're out. Grab some water, you guys. Grab some water. Hmm. Two sets down, one to go. Two sets down, one to go. One more circuit, you guys, and it is the combo, okay? It looks like this. You have two reverse grip rows, so palms are out. Row, row, then I stand up and I curl for two. Two, okay? And then we're gonna do a single arm exercise. All right? Grab those dumbbells. I'm gonna go 15s again. Two reverse grip rows, two bicep curls. This is your third set, right? Last time, back and biceps, let's put them together. Pull muscles, hinge over, belly's tight. Palms face out towards me, elbows roll back towards your hips in three. Two, let's go, let's go. So it's two rows, one, two, and then I stand up and I give me two curls. Palms out, palms out, back to hinge over, two rows, okay? You've done my back, bicep, and legs pyramid. You've done this move, right? That one's fire too. Love me some fire moves. Those pyramids are tough. If you haven't tried a pyramid workout, you have to. They're a favorite around here. You get to take it at your pace, your tempo. I love that mix of strength training. A little burst of cardio gets that heart rate up, right? Come on, two and two. You got it, you got it. Nice long neck. Gaze in front of you. You got it, come on. Right here, we're gonna get one more full set in. Two rows. Right here, you're in the final five seconds. Stand up and curl. This is it, three, two, one. Nice. I'm gonna go down to one dumbbell. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in my right hand. Single arm fly, so back fly. Stand up, hammer curl. Hinge over, fly. Stand up, hammer curl, okay? Single arm, so maybe you can go heavier than you normally would on a back fly. Keep a nice soft bend in that elbow. Three, two, let's go, let's go. So one fly, stand up, one hammer curl. Palm faces in the whole time. One fly, stand up, one hammer curl. Hello on that back fly, do you feel that core turn on? Working one side of the body at a time. Love me some good unilateral work. So good for that core, you guys. Right here, one fly, stand up. Nice, I'm thinking about pinching that shoulder blade into that middle back, working mid upper back here. Mid upper back, nice. Nice, and then that curl. Awesome, that hinged over position keeps that core turned on, keeps those hamstrings turned on right here. You got it, woo, come on, you're in the final five. Four, three, two, and one, nice, woo. Set those dumbbells down, we're gonna pick them both back up. Back two, two bent over rows, two bicep curls. Two and two, you know it, now you do it again. Second set is better, third set is best, right? Grab those dumbbells, palms face out, hinge over, pull that belly tight. Three, two, let's row. Row for one and two. Stand up, curl for one and two. This bent over reverse grip row is one of my favorite back exercises. I love it because it's so good at targeting that big, meaty middle part of your back, right? Gets a little bit of upper back in there, a little bit of lower back, but really that middle part of your back where you're pinching your shoulder blades together. That's what we're targeting here. I think pull those elbows and weights back towards the hip. Two and two, you got it, come on, hinge over. One rep at a time, you're in the final 10 seconds. Yes, you can, stay in it. Stay in it, stay in it, you are so strong. So stinking strong, right here for three, two, and one, dumbbells go down. Nice work, you guys. All right, single arm fly, other side, palm faces in. Single arm fly, stand up, one hammer curl. One fly, one curl. New little move, came up with in my living room the other day. It's like, this looks fun, let's give it a whirl, right? Always fun to try new things, hinge it over. Belly's tight, three, two, let's go. One fly, stand up, one hammer curl. Palm faces in the whole time. One fly, nice, one hammer curl. You got it. One and one, right here. Nice work, nice work, ah, you got it. Come on, second set, second set. Knocking it out, strength training right here. I love it, you guys. Woo. Stay in it, you guys are so awesome, so strong. Nice work. Up and curl. Stay in it right here. 10 seconds. Yes, you can. You can do anything for 10 more seconds. Come on. Woo. You got it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go one more time through. Woo. Roll that wrist. If you feel your grip fatiguing, I feel that. It's because I grip those dumbbells so stinking hard. You don't have to white knuckle them. You can always loosen that grip. Something I have to remind myself of. I'm always squeezing that dumbbell so hard, working intensely. Right? Last set. Two rows, two curls, let's finish it. Three, two, let's finish off strength right here. Two rows, come on. Last time, two curls, back and by. Put it together, finish strong. This is the part of the workout where you're like, I'm not done yet, I'm not done yet. 
I got this in me. I got these last couple minutes to push myself, to challenge myself, right? Physical strength builds mental toughness too. Yes, it does. So strong. Sets you up for a day of success right here. A night of success so you can go into tomorrow feeling good whenever you're working out, right? There's no perfect time to work out. It's whenever you make time for it. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, set them down. Okay, you ready? Whew. We're gonna go double arm. If you can, you're gonna give me a double arm fly, a double arm hammer curl. If you need to, you single it out still, okay? Just alternate sides. You got this? I'm gonna try to do double. We're gonna try it. Whew. We're feeling it. Hinge it over, you're there in three, two, let's go. So it's a double arm fly, stand up, double arm hammer curl. Yes, you can, it's 40 seconds. Do anything for 40 seconds. Last strength move right here. Finish it, you are so stinking strong. I say that because I gotta remind myself too. We're always stronger than we think we can. Come on, that mind's gonna quit before those muscles do. Yes, you got this. 20 seconds, halfway, halfway, you got it. Come on, we go cardio burnout. That's where we're going next. Ooh, you got it, finish strong, you guys. Come on, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, you got this. You got this, yes. You're there in five, four, three. Finish it one more, one more time through, last one. And you're out, holy bananas. Set those dumbbells down, roll out the wrist. Oh no, oh no, we gotta keep the dumbbell. We gotta keep the dumbbell. Okay, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do this. Okay, 20 pounds, I'm gonna set one dumbbell in the middle. It's a half burpee. So hands to the ground, hop back, hop in, up, single arm row, alternate my rows. So I'll roll on the right, then I'll roll on the left. Actually, let's just stay, right hand. This time through, just your right arm rows. Just your right arm rows. Okay, your option is step back. Step back or jump back. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Then we're gonna do some more lateral shuffles. You're there in three, two, let's go. So half burpee, hop up, bent over, row. So I never come all the way standing up. It's that half burpee. Row, I'll show you low impact. I step back, step in, nice. Stepping my feet outside that dumbbell, okay? Keeping a nice bent over position, okay? Hop those feet nice and wide outside that dumbbell. Then I grab that dumbbell, make it heavy. Give me a single arm row. I meant to say, you guys, we were supposed to stay on just that right side, weren't we? We were just supposed to stay on that right arm. Okay, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, short break. I went too long, grab a lighter dumbbell. Shuffle, shuffle, push, let's go, three. Two, to the right, shuffle, shuffle, push it out, okay? So my arms are bent halfway. Arms are bent halfway, biceps are turned on. Woo, shuffle, push, shuffle, push, okay? You can do this with no weight. You can do this with one weight. Come on, keep those biceps on. turned on. Three, two, one, okay. Now we're back on time. Just that left arm is gonna row. Half burpee row. Too much talk and I got lost. Three, two, let's go. Woo, come on, finish strong. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's a hop up in a row. Okay, get my mind right. Get my mind right, you guys. Whew. Sometimes it's been a week and you're like, multitasking the woman's brain. It's like a big ball of wires. Three, two, one. There we go. Shuffle, shuffle. We're gonna go to our left this time. Shuffle, shuffle. Push that dumbbell out. Three, two, let's go. Shuffle, shuffle. Push it out. Hold those biceps halfway, come on. Whew. Have you ever seen that graphic? It shows a woman's brain, it's like a ball of wires all connected, going crazy. A man's brain's like a box with a big empty spot in the middle. <laughs> that makes me laugh, because that's totally my brain and my husband's brain. You're on in three, two, one. I'm not saying he doesn't have a lot going on. He does, but he is really good at finding that nothing box when he needs to. I'm not so good at it. This time you alternate, three, two, let's go. Last time, come on, woo! Last time, cardio segment. Right here, it's a hop up in a row. I promise I'll get it. I promise I'll get it. Woo, come on. Nice work, you guys. Nice work. Right here, one hop up, half burpee, one row. Come on, stay in it. You got three, two, and one. Woo, you know, some days you nail it, some days you get through it. All right, to your right. Two shuffles and a push up. Three, two, let's go. Last time, 20 seconds, right here. 20 seconds, you got it, you got it. We're just here to move. It doesn't really matter what you do. Just keep moving. Come on, come on. Woo, core is turned on. Shuffle, shuffle, push it. Yeah, you're there. In five, four, three, two, and one. 
set that dumbbell down. Grab some water. Whew, you did it. Three circuits. Strength and cardio. Absolutely crushed it. Quick stretch, okay? Quick stretch. Let's go back down to that tabletop position. I'll show you from the side, okay? Sometimes when you feel back exercises, feel them in your low back, so let's stretch it out. Drop the belly, lift the chin, okay? Now tuck the chin towards the chest, right there. Let it all hang heavy. Let that neck hang heavy as you pull the spine up. Reverse it again. A couple cat cows. Just roll up that spine. Should feel really good. Catch your breath. Nice. Gaze goes up, belly goes down. Gaze goes to the belly button as the belly button goes up to the ceiling. We're gonna do one more. Gaze goes up, belly goes down. Gaze goes to the belly button as the belly button goes to the ceiling. Nice work. Awesome job. I'm gonna turn to face you so you can see this. Okay, we're gonna sit back into a child's pose. Take a nice child's pose stretch. Now come up, you're gonna do the same thing except you're gonna walk your right hand over to the left side of your body. Place your left hand on top of your right and sit back into child's pose. This should feel really good. Opening up those lat extensors, side body and back. I just love this stretch after back workout. Awesome job, big inhale, big exhale. Sit those hips a little deeper. Nice, come back to center, same thing, other side. Left hand goes over to the right side of the body. Right hand goes on top of left. Sit back, nice stretch. Don't skip the mobility and the stretching, you guys. So important. You earned it, it's so good, it's one of the best parts. Big inhale, big exhale. Sit a little bit farther into those hips, back towards the heels. Nice work. Walk it up, back to center. You're gonna sit on your booty. Sit on your booty, one of my favorite back exercises too, to open up. Right here, we're gonna go eagle arms, right arm out, left arm threads underneath, right here. Take the elbows away from your body and then reach up. It's gonna open those shoulder blades that you've been pulling together the entire back workout. Get those fingertips up towards the ceiling, those elbows away from the body. Three, two, nice. And now you're gonna plant the hands behind you. Fingertips are gonna face your butt. Just give me a bridge. Open up the chest, the shoulders, let the neck hang heavy. And really, this is to open up your biceps. This should feel so good at creating some length in the biceps as your neck relaxes. Hold for three, two, sit back down, eagle arms, other side, last stretch, you guys. Left arm up, right arm is gonna thread underneath, palms to touch if you can, those elbows go away from the body, and then they reach up towards the ceiling, create length, open up those shoulder, bl shoulder blades, nice, reach, reach, reach for three, two, one, go ahead, shake it out, flap those wings, awesome job, you rocked. This, this pull workout, this upper body pull workout, back and biceps and cardio. Got it all done today, way to go. If you haven't checked out our push version, chest, shoulders, tries, make sure you check that out. As always, hit subscribe if you like these workouts and you can always find more workouts, legs, back, full body, upper body, you name it, at nourishmovelove.com. Have a good day.